Welcome to my class on volumetric analysis. A piece of zinc was added to 1,000 centimeter cube of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. After effervescence had stopped, 29 centimeter cube of the resulting solution required 19 centimeter cube of 0.05 molar sodium trioxocarbonate for solution for complete neutralization. Calculate the mass of the zinc added. Pause this video to write the question down. The values given in the question are concentration of the acid, 0.1 molar. Concentration of the base, 0.05 molar. Volume of the base, 19 centimeter cube. Volume of the acid is unknown. The equation for the reaction is hydrochloric acid combining with sodium carbonate. Hydrochloric acid combines with sodium carbonate. This will produce sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. Sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. If we balance this out, we have two HCl and two NaCl, two moles of acid and one mole of base. This simply means that the number of moles for the acid is two, while the number of moles for the base is one. In this case, the base is sodium carbonate. So concentration of base is concentration of sodium carbonate, 0 0.05. Volume of base is volume of sodium carbonate, 19 centimeter cube. The acid is HCl. The concentration of acid is concentration of HCl, which is 0.1. We're looking for the volume of the HCl used. We know that the volume of acid is given by concentration of base multiplied by volume of base multiplied by number of moles of acid. This is divided by concentration of acid multiplied by number of moles of base. Our concentration of base is 0 0.05 multiplied by volume of base, which is 19, times number of moles of acid. This is 2 divided by concentration of acid, 0 0.1 multiplied by number of moles of base. This is 1. The answer for volume of acid is 19 centimeter cube. Volume of acid is given as 19 centimeter cube. Now from the question, we're initially given 1,000 centimeter cube of HCl, but so we got 19 from our calculation. 1,000 centimeter cube minus 19. That gives us 981 centimeter cube of acid unused. Also, the question gave us 1,000 centimeter cube of HCl to have 0 0.1 moles. This is for HCl. 1,000 centimeter cube in the question was for 0 0.1 moles of HCl. Therefore, 981 will be for what? 1,000 is for 0 0.1. 981 that we got will be for what? Our x therefore equals 0 0.1 divided by 1,000 multiplied by 981. The number of moles of unused acid, moles of unused acid, the moles of unused acid, in this case, HCl, equals 0 0.098 moles. 0 0.098 moles. But the first line of, of the question gave us zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid. The first line of that statement of the question gave us zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid. The product here is zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Zinc chloride and hydrogen gas will be formed. To we'll balance this out, we have two moles of the HCl reacting with one mole of zinc. Now, we need to get the mass of zinc. The mass of zinc is what we are looking for. 
And we know that most of our HCl reacting or reacted with one mole of zinc. Two moles of HCl from this equation of reaction reacting with one mole of zinc. Therefore, 0 0.098 moles of HCl will react with Y. Will react with the unknown Y. Y, therefore, equals 1 over 2 multiplied by 0 0.098. 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 0 0.098. The answer here is 0 0.049, 0 0.049 moles of zinc, 0 0.049 moles of zinc. The mass of zinc finally is number of moles of zinc multiplied by the molar mass of zinc. The number of moles multiplied by molar mass. The number of moles is 0 0.049. Molar mass of zinc is 65. Okay, 0.049 multiplied by 65. This equals 3.19 grams. 3.19 grams. That's the mass of zinc added to the HCl from the beginning of this question. 